So, hi, my name is Steve Ludwin, and I've been injecting snake venom for close to 30 years now. I first got into injecting snake venom because uh, when I was like 10 years old, my father took me down to the Miami Serpentarium, and I, I met a famous herpetologist there called Bill Host. He was the first Westerner who started injecting himself with snake venom. He started in 1948. I met him, and at age 10, I just thought it was incredible that you could become immune to snake venom. So. That's where my interest began. The sensation of injecting snake venom is not pleasant at all. It's not, it's not like a drug. People always ask me, is it, you know, it's not like a Jim Morrison trip. You don't trip, it's extreme pain. So I've had quite a few close calls and quite a few accidents. You know, I have scars all over my body where snake venom has, you know, eaten my flesh. Uh, I ended up in three days in intensive care here in London. And I said, what snake bit you? And I, ha I had to admit to them, well, a snake didn't bite me. I injected myself with three different types of venoms. So it was a, it was a crazy three days in the hospital, you know. So yes, this is after milking the Pope's tree viper. I'm collecting this venom for the University of Copenhagen. We're doing some research into this venom, which hasn't been done before. Yeah, I really don't like showing the whole process of how I inject and et cetera, et cetera, because I don't want anybody to try and copy. It's, it's extremely dangerous. I think that it's possible to strengthen the human immune system by taking small amounts of toxin. Um, what I've been doing with the University of Copenhagen, with a group of scientists, they've realized that they can use my blood and my antibodies in order to create an, a new antivenom that's derived from human blood and that's more cost effective. So, it's, it's a new project that hasn't been done before and it's, it's very exciting. I, I really can't stress enough how dangerous it is and I, I, I wouldn't want to encourage anybody to try and copy what I was doing because I've had, you know, I had many years experience, many years of having horrible accidents. Yeah, obviously don't do this at home.